Alright, run it. Alright, Shalom all. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rukwakadash. And double honors to our apostles and elders that we well at Great Millstone and that have taught us this truth. And salutations to all you since your Akim, pushing this truth in all truth, in all sincerity. Okay, you got some more? Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, is that which shall be done. Yes, yes, so the things that were before, okay, the things that were, they shall be done. Read again. Con. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be. So the things that have been, are that which, was, which shall be done again, man. Are those things that are going to be done again. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And that which was done before shall be done again. All right? Go ahead. And there is no new thing under the sun. Yeah, because there's no new thing under the sun. Just like you got great empires today, you had great empires then. Great empires fell. Great empires are going to fall again. Okay? America's about to fall. Right! right. All right? Whether you people oh, really? can, can receive yep. that or not. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's real, man. America's about to be destroyed. Why would you people in this Right! Alright? The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? You got some out. Keep going. Okay. Is there anything whereof it might may be said? See, this is new? Yeah, so is there something you could actually say, oh, this is new? No, because all things have been done before, man. All these trends that you see have been done before, man. Words people say. They've been said before, man. Those words and things that I've done in the world, and I'll see somebody doing, and it made no sense to be like, man, somebody stole this shit from me. But really, all these things have been done before, man. You get Romans 15 and 4. Don't be shot unless you had something. Oh, I was, uh, going, into, uh, going into the Kings, I was about to jump into Daniel 7. Alright, Daniel 7 and 2. All right, Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea, and four great beasts come, come up from the sea, diverse one from another. And four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. The first was like a lion. Yeah, and these four great beasts are talking about four great empires, okay, that rose up and fell, okay? So it said the first was like unto a lion. Right? Yeah. Right. And had eagle's wings. And had eagle's wings. Now that lion was talking about the, the uh, uh, Assyrian Empire. Okay, and those four wings. I beheld till the wings thereof were put, and it was lifted up from the earth, and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. Yeah, and it became, because of the, the Assyrian Empire fell by the Babylonians, man. So that's when the Babylonians came into power. All right, keep going. Ah, that's where you get the term the Syro-Babylonian Empire. Yeah, the Assyrian, the Assyrian Babylonian, Babylonian Empire. Syrian Babylonian. Yeah. Because the Assyrians came first, then the Babylonians took them down, man. Go ahead. And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it. And uh, that great bear was talking about. The, the Medio Persian Empire, when it rose up to one side, that was talking about one side of that of that uh, of that uh, uh, alliance being better than the other, because the Persians were greater than the Medes, okay? And those three ribs and its mouth are three places in which they conquered, which is Lydia, Media, and uh, Babylon, man. All right, the, the the Persian Empire took down the, those empires before it. Which was, which was the Assyrian Babylonian Empire. Okay? Yeah, yeah, because the four wings got plucked. That's when Nebuchadnezzar came up on that. That was that man that stood, you know, that stood up. That was a, they stood up like a man talking about Nebuchadnezzar. And then you had the Medes which took down the Babylonians. Right? And then the Persians, they got up above the Medes. And it's spiritual today because the Medes represents Russia today. And when you look at the symbolism in Russia is a bear. Yeah, God. Right, man. It also goes into that, I believe, in the book of Revelation. How 
at the beginning, like Esau's empire was was a was a lion, man. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's like he was a leopard. Because a leopard, which we're going to go into, is Alexander. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear. Oh, but you see how the brother brought out Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It shows you that there's no new thing under the sun, that the same things that was going on back then could be easily related today in the scriptures. Man. So this book is still relevant no matter what people like to say about the scriptures, that it's outdated, that it's old, that it's, and it has no use in the 21st century. Well, that's a lie. Yeah, it's just a book. Yeah. What? And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it raised itself up on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. Yeah, the, the, the Persian Empire, or Medio Persian Empire, was, was, a, was a superpower back then, man. Right, nobody could just come up against it. Okay? So they dominated the world. At that time, okay? They dominated all these other empires. Okay? And, and we were under we were under captivity under them, man. Alright, the, the northern kingdom fell by the Assyrians. And then the Babylonians came into power and took down the, the southern kingdom, man. The giant Negroes, alright, the Parker tribes. Which, you know, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the nation of Israel, by your perspective, tribes, man. Okay, there's no gain saying that. Me and this brother had a conversation on the part, and, and, and it talks about how the nation of Israel will remember themselves in the last days. Who is in Babylon today seeking the Lord? Not these other nations, only these people on this side, man. Only these people on this side believe in the Bible, believe in the God of the Bible. Even though they're bugged out, believe in Hesu Christo, Cesare Borgia, they still have a connection to the Bible, to the scriptures. No other nation does that. All right, the so-called white man has his connection to Satan. They're just going to say, what about me, man? They think what about you? You're, you're an Edomite. Hey, look, oh, what, what happened, what, what, what you going into the, going into the Bible, your nation, according to the Bible, is an Edomite. You can't, you know about the story of Jacob and Esau? Well, they were two brothers that came out the womb. They were twins. One, one was meant to serve the other. Well, the one that was meant to serve the other ended up putting these people, which are the actual Israelites, the chosen people of God, okay, into slavery. I'll get Revelation, go, you know what I want, right? Slavery. Revelation tells you in the scriptures that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So when the Lord comes, who people know as Jesus Christ comes, all the so-called white people are going into slavery under these people now. So you're going to be recompensed for the crimes that you put in, that, that, that your forefathers did to these people. This is Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So, just like your nation led these people into captivity, now... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me say that, man. Don't blame me for what my father did. That's what oh. you all say. But the Bible <laughs> talks about reincarnation. Right. He says, I will visit the iniquity of the fathers to the third and fourth generation. I got a percent. You ain't going to Isaiah. This Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Now pay attention. Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare slaughter for his children. Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the crimes of their fathers. For the sin of their fathers. Ignorant. So you 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 may be you may think you're ignorant, but really the spirit that's within you. No, that's what God's doing. God's judging you for what your fathers got it wrong. I got a picture. You're telling me the Lord, the Lord got it wrong. That's what I'm saying. I got a picture. Well, that's why the Lord didn't destroy your animals. That's exactly why. This is Zechariah 11 and 5. Um, actually, four. Thus said the Lord, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. That's it. And they that sell, they say, "Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich." All right, that's your lifestyle. So how did you get your lifestyle right now? Were you able to get your little bike, be able to go up and down? What? Yeah, it, left it abandoned. All right, well then. It is a very good lifestyle. But how'd you get to this land? Rich. But how'd you get to this land? It's because you your forefathers. They came, they, they fucked everything up, and you're still living off their lifestyle. Yeah, you may have not done it, which I know we, you, you did do it through your yeah. reincarnation. But you're living off the lifestyle. Yeah, now you don't have to kill Indians. You just have to ride your bike up and down. But you, but if it was back in the day, you would have to kill Indians, and then you would ride your bike around. But now you don't have you, all you, you don't, that's why you feel hey, yourself hey, guilty hey, because hey, you go ahead hey, with your bike up and down. You know, oh, like God like nothing. Hey, all right, man, cool, man. God hates so called white people. Hey, look, you're going look, to slavery, right? You may say, look, I believe you. You ain't rich, right? I'm homeless. Man. You're homeless right now. Hey, the Lord said that all the curses that was put on these people are going to be put on put on you, your people, in the last days. 
So now your become your people are becoming homeless. Now your people are becoming a drug addict. You see all this stuff? You see all this stuff around here that you see before you, all these big buildings, these cars are going around? These people are the ones that built all this stuff. All right, all the luxuries and the commodities on, and everything. Man, that's a reach. No, that's not a reach. One white man had a one white man. One white man. No, one white man. No, the no. White House. Who was the White House built by? Negroes. Negroes. And then your people were so proud as to after the dark-skinned people got done building the uh, uh, that that building, you said let's call it the White House now. Dick. That's nothing to do with it being white, right? No, you're actually not white. You're rich. You know, that's right. Cool. Yeah, Edom, Esau, Edom, they're, they're, uh, you're, you're red. The word Edom means red. The Esau came out red. But let me finish yeah, before he scrambles. This is Revelation, back in 13 and, and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. These are the saints. These people are the saints. Alright? So your your forefathers. None, none, of, none of these people took slavery uh, upon themselves to also. This is the only place, only white men had slaves though. Come on, man. Every, uh, Egyptians, uh yeah. all, all, the Indians, to this level. all the Indian tribes, they, yeah, they attacked like, other villages, they yeah. took prisoners as right. slaves. All these other nations, all these so, other look, everybody that ain't these people are going into slavery. Because they all had a hand in putting these people into slavery. Right. People probably had a hand in slavery. But your people did the worst. They all, you know what I'm saying? We are created to be kings on the earth. What does a king have? He has slaves, right? All these other nations that were created were created to be our slaves. Why? Because God created us to be gods on earth. Kind of what we revolted for in this country, man, to get rid of that king and all of that kind of thing. Well, that's, I, I that's what you hear my statement from, from all this. From, I never revolted from God. Yeah, yeah, you revolted from God. The Lord set it up to have kings over the I nations. Mean, your people are the ones that set up democracy. I don't know. When that's your people. created to be a monarchy, you get your people are the Edomites. That's all you need to know. Your people are my people, man. I'm American. Well, America's going to be destroyed. Right! The Lord hates America. Lord, right! Yeah, it's Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that built it a town with blood. And how was America built? Off of blood, right? Every, Off the pilgrims. Every, every country was taken from somebody. So, well, so by, you, by your people. By your people. Oh, so, so good. So yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Every country's being taken by people. America's going to be destroyed. Right? So that's basically the end game for you guys. You know? yeah, and we're going to have all the white women as our conquerors. That's right! That's sex slaves. That's, that's the core of the Bible. Because these only know war, you know? Violence. Okay, hey, so far, give me Revelation 6. Going go to the Esau. This is Revelation 6 and... Uh... Because your people went around the world conquering... Keep saying it, man, but I don't know, man. Your people went around the world conquering... Look, and, and... Uh, real quick, yeah. real quick. Look, the reason why we say your people is because that's your nation. All right? When we fell, when we got taken as slaves, sold as slaves, by your you, own people? No, by oh. your people. You didn't say, well, that's a good nigger, and of, that's a bad nigger. I didn't say Let, Let's separate these niggers. That's a good nigger, that's a bad nigger. No, you group us up together. Just like when the cops go to the hood, and they shoot down the fucking building. They don't say, oh, don't shoot the house, there's a good baby in there. You label us all together, so all of you get labeled together. Yeah, when you, and when you say you were, the, that these people were sold by their own people, you're talking about Africans, right? Uh, and, and Cubans, Haiti's, were all way stations for, for slavery, man. They all by had Spanish. Yeah, by the Spanish. Spanish are white people, Spanish are white people. people, bro. Yeah, Spanish are white people. Yes, man. You guys are Spanish, Russians, you Americans, all right, all them European well, countries. Yes, those are all so-called white people. Those are Edomites, according to your biblical nation. You're the people of the great judgment of the Lord. See, all these other nations, they're going to go into slavery for a thousand years, and then they're going to be released back into the land. Your people are actually going to be annihilated from off the face of the above earth. It, man. I love you guys. Well, I'm not going to hit you for it, man. Good luck with yeah, you. Well, you ain't going to rise above nothing. I'll be around. You're done. You're through. Your, your condition shows it itself. Yeah, so that's, yeah so called white men always trying to weasel out, man. It's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. I don't know these. Those ain't my people. You people are good. Uh, this is Revelation 6 and 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his, and his name that sat on him was Death. Um, uh, 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 one of the great ones. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. That, that spirit of death is out here, man. Okay, that pale horse. That's so why you see the world, the condition it's in. But we wanted the other part. Cut. Cut. Uh, this is uh, 
Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that set, set thereon to take peace from the earth. And a horse represents power. Red is, a, is, is something you label, all right? Esau came out red. So that red horse is talking about Esau, man. This is a trip because you also call your military, or it's known as uh, the Roman Empire, the dragon. I was watching the Hannibal movie, Red Dragon. And it was an Edomite, man. I love your attire. It was an Edomite. Yes, it's an yeah. ancient custom. Okay? Or ancient apparel. Philosophy apparel. Yeah, the philosophy apparel. When you read numbers, we wore this, you know? But back to the subject. Uh, I don't know if you want to get that. But uh, <laughs> the Red Dragon. All right, are you so called white people? You Edomites. Talking about your power structure, your elite. All right, your military might. You as a whole. Okay, you're that red horse, the red dragon, all right? And you were, you were created to take peace from the earth. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And then these so-called white people, which are actually the red ones, red people, they took peace from the earth, man. They took peace from the earth. You can't do that, man. You see all this meat. It was your forefathers, man. And then it was your forefathers, forefathers. All you so-called white people, man. Run! Okay, you're the red horse of Esau, the Edomites. And that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Yeah, that great sword ultimately is a nu nuclear yeah. weapons. And when Esau, the Oppenheimers, created the atomic bomb, that's when they had everybody under their control, man. Everybody was like, oh, fuck. Let's not mess with him. Why? Because the Lord gave you that great sword to rule the world, like it talks about in Romans, the 13th chapter, okay, that you were that power on the earth, the judge, that the Lord set up, all right, that if anybody comes against, he gave you the power to put them down, why, because you're supposed to be ruling right now, you can't get that scripture where it says, rejoice and be glad, O daughter, and eat them, God, God. you know, it's your time to shine, man, it's your time to do the most, go hard in the paint, Rejoice and be glad. Cut. Because you ain't gonna be ruling forever, man. You're on the way out. That's so why you got bum ass Edomites come to, come to the camp on bicycles. Homeless as fuck. Some won't even come to camp on shoes, man. Some will come to camp barefooted. And I've seen it, I've seen it every day. A bum ass Edomite. Okay? Jay catching out, but I mean, hey. The, the, the afflictions we catch is light, man, because we got the spirit, man. The Lord can put us through hell, but you know what? Hey, we got the spirit. We rejoice in that. We happy that we got that. That's all we need. To come out here on the weekend and prophesy. To give double honors, man. Words do. This is Lamentations 421. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. Yeah, Uz was a major city in, in, uh, in Seir, man. All right, in your territories, man. Modern day Uz is America, man. Modern day Basra is America. Modern day Babylon, Rome is America. Okay, all them places are reincarnated, just like we started it off. There's no new thing under the sun. That's why you got these Roman centurions, these, which are these cops. They roam around on horseback. Out here in San Jose, you'll see, literally see cops on a horseback, man. They'll have a sword on them, a gladius, which is a pistol. Okay. They got their chariots, which are the vehicles. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Yeah, the cup shall also pass unto you devils, man. Under all you nations, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Alright, so all the cap all the people that had that that had our downfall, they gon' they gon' have a downfall, man. Uh, can we get real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, we're gonna read it again. This is uh numbers 14 and 18. Alright, you how about Shimmy Arashad is long suffering and of great mercy. Yeah, he's long suffering. That's why you devils can still walk around the way you do, man. Alright, he's suffering that. To suffer means to be patient. And we have to be patient, man. All right, we have to suffer. Looking at you, goddamn red beast, man. Good. Every day, you know, catching hell. Which, like I stated before, 
Hey man, we gotta catch this little hell to enter in the kingdom. So be it, man. The persecutions that are coming, so be it, man. Okay? We're ready to live. Or you got some brothers out there that'll say, I'm ready to die for this. We're ready to live, man. Because there's no death in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Like the scriptures say, the, the dead the dead can't serve the Lord, man. Alright? There's gonna be martyrs, but you're just gonna be instantly translated, man. Like like Highlander. You know, when they get their heads cut off, they're just instantly transferred, man. What? Forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty. Yes, yeah, so the Lord forgiving sins and transgressions to the elect of the nation of Israel. And in no wise clear the guilty. Would you so-called white people are guilty for everything you've done right. on the face of the earth? That's right! Alright? You goddamn so-called white people created AIDS, man. Create all these diseases. To do what? Target these people, man. They said the CDC and all these disease places created diseases to target certain ethnic groups. That's you goddamn red devils, man. And what people? These people, man. They want to exterminate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Off the face of the earth. Why? Because if they could do so, they get their birthright back. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children under the third and fourth generation. Yeah, so he's visiting your iniquities that your forefathers did because you are your forefathers. That's right! You know, you these crackers, they smile at you. Walk by like it's a fucking joke. It's a joke on you. The joke's on you. Because we got the upper hand. I'm saying it's a joke. Rejoice and be glad. So it's a good thing that you smile. You laugh at us, you talk your shit. It's a good thing you do that. Rejoice and be glad, oh daughter, eat them. Okay, there's a cup. The cup is going to pass into you. And that cup represents the afflictions of the Lord. Slavery, man. Mass genocide, man. Murder, robbery. Cur the curses. Okay, that cup is going to be passing you so-called white people. You're going to have to drink that cup. You're going to have to go into slavery. Alright, you're going to have to be raped, robbed, murdered. Okay, that's according to the Bible. According to truth. Alright. Go ahead. Yeah, man. And it's heavy too when it talks about to the third and fourth generation. I got this video I want to do a video on. And it was it's basically this uh, this girl, she's like 22, but she has uh, uh, this condition where her her body didn't didn't form right. So she looks like a fucked up, like weird little kid looking thing. Oh, shit. She looked messed up, man. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, the doctors basically are saying that this ailment only comes around once every third to fourth generation. Woo! So that's why you eat my children. Just eat them like So every third, fourth generation, this bitch gets reincarnated with that same disease. And, and, you other, and you other Edomites is coming back in your third and fourth generation to receive your judgment. Just like in the kingdom, our kingdom, which is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, okay, you so all you so-called white people that die here, you're gonna come back in your third, fourth generation to receive your judgment for the wrongs in which you committed. And you're gonna begin, you, you, you women are begin, gonna get, begin raped. All you good looking white women are gonna begin raped by big buff Israelite men, so called Negro Latino men, Native American men. And you ugly ones, the heathen gonna be raping you, man. Okay? Other Edomites are gonna be raping you, man. Because we, we kings, man, we're ready to have the best, best uh, finer things in life. So we're gonna have the finest things in life. All right, the elect of the nation of Israel, and all Israel, because even though even though two thirds that died, they're going to come back through the, the loins of the elect. All right, there's not going to be a two third in the kingdom. Okay, but go ahead. God, this is Habakkuk Lamentations 4:21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Yeah, you're going to be drunken, man. And make yourself naked. Nope. You're not going to be in this high state that you were. This high state that you're in right now. Because once you go down, you're never coming back up again. 
You're gonna be worse than that bum on the bike. You'll be worse than this old BBC fucking cum lover, man. All right, this old dog, old cave bitch, man. You'll be worse off than that. She riding around a goat bed, man. Who is her kingdom? Good. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquities accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, the punishment of our iniquity, the punishments that we're going through, are damn near up, man. How do we know that? Because we're starting to see you catch the hell. Or are we starting to see uh, 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 little white girls like this looking for BBC, man? You know, and they love BBC, right? Oh, for sure. So, so she yeah, said, so she she said all out of her own mouth. What? You know, that's how we know you so called white people all on your way out. Not about cooks. You know? Because these, these white girls, they love BBC. That's right! And they're going to get BBC, man. You know? That, that our iniquity is damn near accomplished, man. They was ready, bro. Hell yeah. She said, oh, for sure. She said, oh, for sure. Hey, the Lord causes the tongue to fall upon themselves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they're leaving Esau. They're leaving Esau again. They're leaving that's, that cook. And that's how you know we're about to get the win, man. We're on the way up. Okay, all you got to do is keep endearing, man. Keep pushing. Don't forget, who taught you, man. Okay. Never forget who taught you, man. And that's what we hope and pray for, that we can keep going, man. The straight game, the straight arrow. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away to captivity. Yeah, all these nations are no more going to carry us away into slavery, man. Into captivity. This is the last captivity, man. This is the last... This is our last fall, man. From here on out, it's just all the way up, like Fat Joseph. We just go in all the way up. When you hit the bottom, you can go nowhere but up. And that's where our people are going, nowhere but up. All right, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you so-called white people are going down the drain. That's right! All right, you're going down the toilet. Like the stinky fucks you are, man. You know what? You got some? Um, yeah. um, he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Yeah, daughter Edom. You Edomites, man. A daughter is an off offspring of a man. All right, you Edomites, man. You're the daughter of Edom. All right, you're the children of Edom. Which Edom is Adawam in Hebrew, which means red. Okay. He's gonna visit your iniquities. All the things you've done to these people in the sun. All right, all the great money and murder you've done throughout the earth. Because you, you rule the people in wrath, man. Okay, fuck all these other nations, but man, you're dropping bombs on them, <laughs> blowing them apart, you're going in their, in, their, in their countries and villages, kicking doors down, raping their women in front of you at gunpoint. I mean, look what you did in Vietnam to the damn gooks. You blow their fucking heads off, clean off, call them zipper heads, rape their women in front of them, you know, but the Lord's going to visit you for the iniquities you've done to our people. That's right! Because to hell with you fucking monkey heathens, man. Yeah, man, and it doesn't stop there, because they'll go in, and they'll do all these things, and you have a certain government in order to disestablish over there in these heathen nations, the so-called white men will go in there and disestablish you. Uh, set up a them. puppet. You'll set up a puppet, bring in their philosophies, their ways of life, and then once they introduce that demon to these people, now they want to be Americanized. And so the people turn against their government. And then that's how, you, that's how they would topple these governments. So they would have, uh, just like North and South Korea fighting against each other, man, because they pitted them, they sowed discord amongst them. And then what do you got? You got U.S. troops occupying these different nations, going through to the point where they don't even got to rape them now. Their women are selling themselves to these different soldiers and things like that, man. Okay, the, 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 the husband's out fighting the war, probably dead somewhere. This bitch getting banged out by a bunch of U.S. soldiers while their baby's right there in the crib next to him, man. Doing dope and heroin shit, go ahead. Yeah, and I'm say this too. And that is nothing new under the sun, because that was the same thing that was happening with Gad, you know? You know, you know, fucking Gad is destitute and shit. The only way you get money is from the soldiers. So best believe, you know, the Indian bitch had to go up there and, you know, get tri tricked off on just like you could bring some food back to the village. Nothing new under the sun, Esau, piece of shit. Yeah. So all these, all these things that you've done are now, are, are now catching up with you, man. Yeah, because that's part of the curses. We had to go to our enemies for the one of all things, you know? The one. You had some, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, read that one more time if you have. Limitations? Yeah, yeah. limitations. Look, you got, you got his girl here. Kevin Paletas, man. Life. You know, and he, he looks like he's about to drop dead, bro. You got our people slaving.